All right. My first lie was that I wouldn't be holding a shaky hand cam in my garage the next time I did a video, and that I would be well lit, and that you wouldn't hear me <laughs> breathing really obnoxiously loudly. Um, and my second lie was that I wouldn't be doing these all the time, that I'd maybe just try to keep it weekly. But I, the more I thought about it last night, thinking about all the things I want to uh, talk about, I realized that that's not really going to be possible if I even want to cover half of the fucking subjects before my interest starts to wane. Um, today's uh, topic, uh, which I'll probably veer off in a thousand different directions on, so hold on to your fucking seats, is uh, corporate drug testing. My friend uh, Zach was, uh, he, he got, he recently uh, got a new job working at a um, design company or, or some shit. Long story short, they said, well, now that you're a full-time employee, I guess you'll have to take a drug test. We got, we can't have our employees have smoking the reefer in their time off, you know. That'd just be disastrous, you know. I mean, imagine a world where, you know, people's personal lives are their own and we don't even bother them with that shit. <laughs> It'd be Armageddon. If, an, if drugs interfere with what an employee is doing, then by all means, crack the fuck down. Crack the whip. Say, hey, Bob, you came in drunk for fucking five days in a row. You're fired. Probably don't want to tell someone they're fired in that pleasant of a voice, by the way. I mean, it's okay to be gleeful, but... You know, wait till they're out of the room. I should say that as a, a libertarian, uh, I do believe that a, a company, a privately owned uh, corporation not receiving uh, government funds, uh, should have the right to make any sort of uh, employment decision they want to. If they want to fire people for, uh, you know, any social activity, you know, whether it be uh, smoking the reefer or uh, you know playing water polo I don't care it's um it's it's just it's none of it's you know it's none of their business really but I mean it's their prerogative to employ whoever they feel best represents their company however that doesn't mean that the populace has to uh, support their decisions and and as long as uh, people uh, tolerate their uh, discriminatory unfair policies and don't call them on their bullshit they're gonna keep doing it and I honestly don't see why they would do it at this point I mean it's pretty obvious that you know drugs especially marijuana do not necessarily uh, hinder job performance I mean uh, every single day uh, the employees of countless you know, thousands of American companies start the day with a uh, fucking frappuccino and all that shit. You know, you don't think caffeine's a fucking drug? I mean, it's just cocaine light. And, uh, you know, we're, sp you know, if anyone were to even fucking, you know, say in passing that maybe coffee affected someone's job performance, we'd, we, everyone would treat them like they were a fucking imbecile. And rightly so. I mean, do you honestly think there's a significant difference there? Do you honestly think there's really a logistical... Uh, logistical's not the right word. I don't know why I would say that. Well, there's seriously a real fucking difference there? As f in terms of um, psychological uh, impact, is what I'm trying to say. Um, in case any of you out there are, are seriously pondering that question, the answer is NO! Uh, that's really all I have to say on that particular topic. I'm trying to keep this a little shorter than last time. I don't want this to turn into a ten-minute rant. Um...